Hello and welcome back to Stellaris. So, we are still got this galactic community thing going. It's going to be another few years before... I think how many? Like, four years before that does anything? And now we're just kind of finishing off the map, basically. Getting the last bits and pieces here and there. Hoping for some more random events to guide us, basically. Oh, now I moved this fleet. Yeah, this is our next one. Now I've moved this fleet, I'm going to tell it... Um, Actually, it's already where I want it to go. Uh, I'm going to tell it to patrol from here down to Haratha. Yeah, there we go. Patrol the route. End of the Cartel of uh, Sepharis. The star nation formerly known as the Cartel of Sepharis has been destroyed by its enemies. How will this will affect the political climate of the galaxy remains to be seen. Uh, where were they? I think they, they were probably in there, I imagine, but they've now been eaten. Okay. Uh, now, just uh, for no particular reason, I'm going to see whether these people want to be in our federation. Not yet, but we're, we're getting there. We're convincing. We're very convincing. I see, we're improving relations with some others as well. Uh, let's see who else we've got. The oh, Yadil. They don't yet okay. want to be part of any of this. Oh, because they have too many uh, commercial packs. And too many research agreements. They might take a migration treaty soon, though. It's not necessarily against it. You guys, the ruthless capitalists. Mm, you're not 100% against it either. We just need a little bit of time. Yeah. Uh, the Sidematis uh, Trade Union will now guarantee the independence of... These people. Uh, Whoever they were. Uh, okay. Federation builders? Consider all sapient life to have value and will seek to form a federation to protect themselves and others from expansionist empires. I think this used to be the, uh, yeah, it used to be those people who just stopped existing. Yeah, but now they have no name. Okay. That's fine. Nothing to worry about here. Um... Anything else we need to look at? Our federation is still growing. Ooh, what's that? Top left. Open borders. Oh, the random pathetic nation has opened their borders to us. Wonderful. Foreign empires claimed our system. Yeah, when you do something about it, I'll care. Um, defense of pact. Okay, don't need to worry about that. What are you even doing traveling through my territory? Anyway, I, I don't know what they're doing here. They're just kind of moving. Migration treaty broken. The Tumbator New Ascensionists broke their migration treaty. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Uh, I'm going to wait till the end of the year and then possibly check our contacts again. Still waiting for more events to guide us. Uh, I haven't read any comments yet since I mentioned I don't know what I'm doing. So, if you have any ideas, please let me know. And if you have already commented, sorry, I haven't read it yet, but I will probably read it before the next episode. So... Your feedback will be taken into uh, very careful consideration there because I'm kind of looking for like a purpose for us beyond building a federation, which is fine. But it feels like because we're not conquesting, there's not a lot to do, which is kind of how a lot of Paradox games work. So I'm wondering whether we want to conquest, but also this one doesn't seem to have a war with every single person, so I don't really know. Anyway, it's the end of the uh, month, so you're still cordial. By the tiniest, tiniest tick. Yeah, okay. That's fine. We'll just wait, I guess, then. It's fine. We can just wait. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't the end of the month. Yeah, it's not the end of the year. Okay, fine. How much are they getting each month? Just out of curiosity. They're getting... Last month it changed by two. Oh. Yeah, so it might take a while. Survey complete. Okay, survey's complete. Do you have anywhere else to go? You found another unsurveyed system. I salute you. I don't know how you managed it, but you did. Uh, I think that's probably the last one. Scientist leveled up. Okay. Nice. Uh, we probably don't need to pay as many scientists soon. Not that paying people is a problem, given our large number of resources, but... Hey, we probably don't need to do it soon. Ooh, Costa has an extra planet. So we will upgrade that building. 
Um, they do have city districts. So we could potentially grab some uh, districts if we need some extra housing. They think we probably do. How much housing do we have? Uh, we have four housing. We need at least five and we're going to get it there. Okay, we're fine. Uh, next one I'm going to get is... Well, no. Ideally, I want something that uses minerals and turns it into something else, but I can't really get that. Uh, I can turn consumer goods into unity. That's an idea. Turn minerals into consumer goods. Well, that will get rid of some of our mineral issue. Do we have anything that turns food into anything? Minerals into alloys is also interesting, although we don't really need alloys anymore either. So we've kind of passed the point of needing anything. Um, which is fine. Let's turn minerals into consumer goods, I guess. Although, if I wait till this becomes a planetary assembly, I can then get exotic gas on it. And the job does cost minerals to work, so maybe that's good. Yeah, maybe I'll just wait. Yeah, when that finishes, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll do something else there. Rural world, what's, what's your problem? Current unemployment, one. I don't have enough jobs. Wait, I have three jobs. How can you be unemployed? Um, are there like is there like skills? Oh, you're a specialist who's unemployed. Oh, demoting to worker soon, but you'll be unhappy about it. Shame, basically. There's n no way for me to fix this issue for you. Um, yeah. Shame. Uh, what we got here? Still got another little bit for that to go. Another three Initiating years. Initiating communications. Offer migration treaty. Fantastic. They came to us, so they want migrating stuff. We've that's fantastic. I'm happy with that. Commercial pact. They've accepted it. Wonderful. Association status. They're still almost there. You know what? If we were to grab just a few um, favors from them. How much for a favor? Not a lot, really. You know, I'll like 10 favors. All I'm gonna give you is food. I probably don't need 10 favors. Yeah, I'll like five favors for that much. Go. That's a scientist leveled up. And... They've accepted. Wonderful. Uh, what I would now like to do, close that window, uh, is I would like to invite you to the I'd like you to be associated with the Federation. Wonderful. That was a yes, I believe. Wonderful. They have now been offered that. I'll head in here. Revoke a uh, thing. I can also get with favors. Invite to Federation. That's a no because they would vote and our people would vote no. But they are now associated with us, which is cool. That's a good start. Right. Next one. You. You're still cordial. Okay. Well, we'll get there soon. But at least they're associated with us and not someone else. Where actually are they on the map? I never really looked. I just looked at who they were. Uh, oh, they're over there. Oh, okay. There's a lot of empty space here. I don't believe that there's a lot of empty space here, but there is a lot of empty space there. You know what I'm meaning? I kind of believe that actually what's there is anomaly another detected. group that we haven't seen yet. An easy anomaly for our fantastic um, scientist. Of course we'll do it. Please get us one minor artifact. That's all I want. Just a minor artifact, please. Long update. Precursor discovery. A new archaeological site is available on Exelon um, 4A. Authorities of Earth recently exposed a large smuggling ring and many arrests have been made in an attempt to bargain for leniency. One of the smuggler captains gave us coordinates for a moon that supposedly contains remnants of an ancient precursor civilization in Exelon 3. Exelon is over here somewhere? I'm sure Exelon's in our territory. This is the last one. I'm... I'm completely happy. Yeah, um... Ikeda is now going to take that job. 
Wait, can I unassign? Do I need to unassign Ikeda here? Can't remove a researcher. Okay, uh, you're still going to head up to Exelon. You're not going to research, though. We're going to get you a proper researcher. Because we don't want to fail. 42 years in three days. A closer scan of the debris around Durban 6 has led to the discovery of an airtight capsule containing an atomic clock that measures time with unparalleled precision. It has a frequency uncertainty so low that it will be another 879 million years before it gains a single second and it is counting down to a date 42 years and 3 days away. The capsule holds no clues as to what the date signifies or who the owners are, but it seems as though someone out there has lost track of time. Keep an eye on it or destroy it. The capsule is, an innocent, is full of innocent looting wires, any of which could be rigged to set off a weapon of mass destruction so potent it could wipe out the entire galaxy. The crew will snip them all. I mean, I have to, right? Do it. And don't die. Are you finished, by the way? You're totally finished, right. Uh, I'm going to switch you over. And then over here, I'm going to quickly switch this person in. Uh, yeah, you're now available. Okay. I was waiting for the consequences. <laughs> Wait, are you doing nothing? Yeah, there's nowhere to explore. Okay. Well, um, please make your way back here to research... Assist back in the sun. Yeah, please go here. Oh, do I need to actually go in? Maybe I could do multiple. Uh, Earth. There we go. And you're heading up here. That's fine. Uh, oh, you would, would we like to extend our deal? Of course. Fantastic. I would love to extend our deal. That extra um, research speed is definitely keeping us in the game, I imagine. How far away are we from this uh, submerged thing? Nine months. I'm slightly worried about it, but not totally worried about the submerged ship. I mean, it's not going to rise out of the water and kill us or anything. Yeah, no, definitely not. Wouldn't believe that for a second. Couldn't possibly happen. Uh, 14 months and we get the ability to get um, moat harvesting traps though. That'd be cool. Don't know what we can do as, with moats, but hey, we'll have them. Election. Uh, I would like one of the people who does stuff I like to be in charge. Who is in charge of the faction that really likes us? Cheng Hu. Uh, of course he is. I support him. Push him to the top. Um, they're still going. Initiating communications. Ooh, they've now offered us a migration treaty. Fantastic, I agree. Uh, that's fantastic for us because now, if we do a quick communicate with them, we can see whether they'd accept association. They would, but they're already associated with another. So the only thing we can do is jump over their head. We would have 50% support. That's not a majority, but it might count as a majority. Yeah, okay. Okay. Interesting. How about you? How are you feeling about Federation? Life. They would say no and everyone would vote no. You, uh, mm -hmm. you're still neutral with me? Okay, that's fine. You'll there, you? You're suspicious. Yeah. You're plus 130, but still suspicious. Is that because it changes for each? No. Wait a second. So why are you still suspicious? I guess maybe that's just the level they're at. Oh, we're currently, mi we're currently minus 750. Oh, but we're plus 130 from base. <laughs> okay. Oh no, our opinion of them is minus 880. Never mind. <laughs> That's why we're so different. Yeah. Uh, we're still improving relations with the brand Unity? Okay. Um, I think we're probably better off with someone like these guys. Militarist 
possibly. Uh, spiritualist guys? Oh, you're already part of a pact. Okay. How about you? You're egalitarian militarists. How do you feel about me? Um, you're pretty good with me. Yeah, I'm going to improve relations. I'm going to move the one from the Vran Unity over. Wait, I don't have one with the Vran Unity? Do they have one with us? Is that what's happening? They're improving our relations of them. Oh, well that's good. I like that. Peace offer. Sidemus has made peace with the Everite Incorporated. Uh, and they've given a system over. Hmm. Okay. Election's still on its way. Um, are we there yet? No, we're not at the Exilon. We're not at Exilion up here. Cheng Hu has been elected as leader. Fantastic. Oh, and because we complete the mandate, we got more unity. Wonderful. And we need a new person to be in charge. Of. Oh no, never mind. Because uh, the person who was in charge of everything just became in charge of this. That's fine. That all works out then. Um, you're almost there. Oh wait, we have a tomb world with 50% habitability. Oh, because we now have somebody who can... Yeah, we now have a species who can colonize these. Who? Oh, we have these guys. Oh. I should just send them off. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, go, go get them. 50%? That's not low. Oh god, I don't have names. Uh... Two seconds. Gonna just alt-tab. I have a lot of comments between the last episode and this episode due to the channel hack, so... Give me just a moment as I scroll through about a hundred comments. This might take some... You know what? I could probably... Can I search comments? I have no idea if I can. Um... I would like to search for Stellaris. Does this work? Okay. No. Not at all. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's see. It was hiding all comments that I'd reply to. Okay, it's got Stellaris, but it's showing them in a random order. This is not very smart. Okay. Uh, well, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to plan A, which was a scroll. And then see who we got. Because there were a lot. There is a lot. And now, colony names are an important thing. If you don't set off on the right foot, what, what, what are you going to do? I mean, I don't know. Things could just go horribly wrong. Uh, I may have to just randomly choose somebody. But that's okay. We could do that. Potentially. You know what? I'm going to randomly choose the name that I have seen here because I've seen them commenting on other stuff. Wait, I've now lost the name because it deloaded. <laughs> ah, okay. Right, let, let me continue here. Uh, along the line till I find the next one. Next one somewhere down here. This is really not as easy as I thought it would be. There we go. I found the name again. So this one is going to be Rat. Uh, so Rat Connax. There we go. Okay. So we're making a ship to go there. And while we're at it, let's make a ship to go here. Colonize these people. Yes. Name. What a horrible name. We're not going to call it that. You know, I could have named these after. I just had that sudden realization. But you know what? You know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to find them now. Um, I think I'm actually getting names that we've already had. So we might actually be too far down this list. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I think I've hit the start. Yeah, I've hit the start. Right, now go back up. The next one is Cybernaut. So we're going to call this one Cyber. There we go. Right, perfect. That was well worth our time. You know what? I was going to close the comments page. Let's leave it open. Right, 
So two new uh, things, two new tomb worlds that we can act. It's a tundra world with 65. Colonize it. Okay, we need another name. Uh, oh, I did actually miss one, so perfect. So we're, this guy, we're gonna go, was Wolfie Doo. So we're gonna call this Wolfie Doo. Perfect, right. So we now have another three going. Do we have any um, any more I missed? Ah, <sighs> high habitability tundra world. So we need the next one on the list. We're gonna go for um the next one is hot shots. So this is gonna be hot shot. There we go. That's the last one. Ooh, Elysium has another planet we can build. Or not planet, another building. Uh, on the planet. That's cool. Um, Costa needs more jobs. That's fine. Um, what jobs are missing? Specialist. Well, we are about to get these exotic plants. Does that give us, it gives us a gas refiner job? I don't know if that's a specialist job, but we're gonna do it anyway, because that's the one I wanted, so. We'll get exotic gas refineries. Perfect. Uh, Elysium's still building its ones, and that'll give us access to more. Cool. Right, uh, unpause. I'm sure there was something, ah yes, Exelon. That's the one I wanted before the end of the episode. Uh, Cause it seems like it's going to be awesome. I'm very excited. Survey complete. Ooh, I believe that's our last survey of the game. Wait, you found something? Oh, apparently I didn't finish surveying there and that's why it was standing still. Special project complete. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. The attempts to salvage a giant ship that was found in Samet Man's waters have yielded some insight into the ship's design. The ship's maneuvering algorithms are easily transferable to our own hardware, enabling our fleets to become swifter and more energy efficient. Unfortunately, the ship itself is beyond saving. Its hull will supply us with enough materials to make up for that. So we have minerals, of course. We also gain the Streamlining Algorithms modifier, which is a permanent buff. Alright, so what is that? 10% invasion? Wait, did we not already have an evasion buff? Yeah, we got the flagellating movement. So we have 15% evasion just straight up for, for our uh, nation or for our empire. That's awesome. Yeah, I love that. that. That's fantastic. That's gonna work really well. Uh, they are completely gonna get there before we do. Oh no, we were surveying this one. Never mind. Uh, yeah, we already have ruler elected. We already know about that. Are you here yet? Oh, research project. I never actually told them to research it. Okay. They're now there. Ads going. Oh ho ho! I'm excited. I'm also excited about the large number of planets we just got. That's something to spend our resources on, which is good. Um, and it's a large number of planets. I mean, this one's even properly habitable. Like, it's got good habitability. That's fantastic. Each one of these is just going to increase our production. We got an extra building on Earth. So we have one job available. Uh, so we probably need jobs with this one. Um, what are we going to go for? I don't know. What do We could go exotic ga gas refineries here as well. I don't know how useful exotic gases are going to be. Civilian Industries also uses some of that stuff. Um, administrative stuff. Uh, wait, the bureaucrats turn consumer goods into administrative capacity. So that would give us two bureaucrats, which would increase our administrative capacity, which would increase... Yeah, okay, so I guess I want to choose that. Yeah, that works for me. Go with that. Sindagi uh, is... Yeah, has people who are too qualified for their job. That's fine. I'm not overly worried Technology about it. Technology discovered. Oh, what did we discover? Moat stabilization. Oh, wonderful. Research alternatives, plus one. I really like that. I also like this one, though, because we're just about to get a bunch of colonies, so. Seems useful. Also, moats are on the menu, so. Get that one. Then get that one. 
you please get these moats. Hopefully it'll tell us what the moats do when we get them. Uh, do we have any other moats? I don't think so. But hey, that's uh, four moats we didn't have before. That's good. Alright. Ooh, new tradition. Market fee reduced by 10% or base trade protection increased by 5. Base trade, because I don't know what market fee does, but I know that we need the trade protection because we don't have a lot of patrols. That seems good to me. Also, the number of planets we get, that's going to increase trade so much once it starts going. Yeah, because we're going to get the, like, this one's going to connect to there, it's going to be Special great. project complete. A thorough investigation of Exilion 4A is unearthed evidence of a past Cybrex presence, and a way team from the USS Scout has managed to bring a relatively well-preserved artifact back to the ship, which should hopefully increase our knowledge of this ancient civilization. At 6 of 6. What do you do when there's 6 of 6? I guess what you do is you go uh, assist research on Earth. Yeah. Okay. Then what do you do? If I speed it up slightly. Cybrex home system located. After an intense study of our recovered Cybrex artifact, scientists on Earth have managed to deduce the exact galactic coordinates of a system the ancient machines refer to as Cybrex Prime, possibly where their civilization retreated after their abortive attempts to exterminate all sapient organic life. We should launch an expedition to the system before someone else beats us to it. Okay, so this is Cybrex Alpha. Long update. Where is it? Can can you tell me where that is? Yeah, but like, instead of just tracking on map, just point me to where it is. Like, because I'm stupid. Where is it? Oh, it's over here? Wait, that's within our territory, right? Yeah, um, wait, 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 wait. Immediately, switch this one over to Kosai, and I need you to head here and survey that system. And you are going to switch back to her, and you are going to go and assist research in the sun system. Yes, good. I really want to know what this is, so I'm going to keep going. Oh, it's no longer part of our territory because it's a new system. Okay, weird. Oh, we might need to build a starbase. Can I go in here? Also, how did I not know that this star existed? Oh, we, we, we don't know anything about it. Okay. We're almost there. We have resources full here. Uh, I am going to just 5,000 away it. Because it does not bother me. We are getting energy credits. We could more optimally do it by trading with everyone, but nobody has energy credits. It's the only thing I want. You finished the construction of the mining station? Awesome. Um, chill. Right. And... We're going. We're moving. Ten days. The Cybrex Central Nexus. It would seem that the Cybrex re-evaluated their galactic crusade against organic life at some point during its 17th year. Whether this change was prompted by losses on the battlefield or an ideological shift in their network networked consensus, we may never know, but for whatever reason the Cybrex decided to halt their campaign. They began a slow withdrawal that lasted for nearly a century until they eventually vanished completely. We now know that they retreated to this system, where they had constructed a massive ring world designed to house their entire civilization. They isolated themselves here for several millennia until an independent explorer chanced upon their system and spread its location to the rest of the galaxy. News that the dreaded Cybrex had been found again prompted several neighboring rat powers to organize a massive military expedition which bombarded the Cybrex ring world into rubble. Strangely, the Cybrex seem to have offered no resistance whatsoever, so we get 10 minor artifacts, we found the Cybrex Warforge, we get 5,000 unity, 500 engineering, 2,000 energy credits, and we get the minor artifact action unlocked, Secrets of the Cybrex. Okay, so what's this activate relic for triumph? 
So it costs 10,000 and some some of this influence, but monthly alloys goes up by 5%. Active effects produces 5,000 alloys. A relatively small and portable Warforged, the last of its kind in the universe, is a relic from the time when the Cybrex made war upon the galaxy before their adjustment made them change their ways. The Forge's ability to produce warships has been permanently disabled by the Cybrex, but still has the capacity to convert massive amounts of minerals into alloys. That's insane! That's so good! Also, secrets of the Cybrex? Oh, if we had more, we could go even further in. This is amazing. I kind of want to just click it. Uh, permits building Cybrex Wharf form armies at your capital. Um, okay. Kind of want to click it. We don't need alloys though, but I really want to click it. But we don't need alloys, am I? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not clicking it, but that was cool. Also, is there anything in here? Yeah, okay. So what can we do with this? Nothing, but you know what we could do? We can send our construction ship, once it's done here, to go build a star base in here and claim it. But you know what? Claim that star base immediately. Wait, are we not able to do that? Oh, it's not fully surveyed. Oh. Well, that's fine. We can do it afterwards. Um, yeah, after you finish building the mining station, move here. That's fine. Uh, and we can get this last insider trading one, the market fee. Wait, that wasn't the last one, we actually had this one. The amount we contribute towards Federation naval capacity counts for twice as much, which is actually much more useful. Thought we already had it. Oh, it tells you how many months that is away. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty cool. Uh, we are at zero consumer goods, I just noticed, so we maybe need to uh, sort that out at some point. Uh, do we have a building that we could do use to do that? Yeah, we could tur We could do a commercial zone or something. Not that one. Um, which one is it that turns minerals into commercial goods? Oh, this one. C civilian industry. Yeah, get some of that. Cool. Right, well, with all of that... Oh, also this one's still going? Yes, you... Needs... Well, you have housing, so I don't know what you need, actually. Moat harvesting traps? We could do that and get more moats. I still don't know what moats do for us, though. <laughs> uh, it produces two moats. I mean, what more did I want it to do, I, I, I guess? Um, I don't know what we want to build here. I guess some more civilian industries, I guess? Sure. More civilian industries, it is. Uh, right, well, with that, I am going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.